Hi everyone, just for a start, there was a company that was established in 1975, a small company, which grew one of the largest companies of the computer operating system, and this company is Microsoft. <coughs> Uh, the company, uh, there was a, co okay. and I'm guessing some or most of you are using a computer operating system that uh, uses Microsoft. Just to introduce myself, my name is Ahmed al -Nayme. I'm the Vice President of the Marketing Division, as well my partner here is Tyler Watts, and he's uh, the Vice President of the Financial Division. Hopefully we're going to be covering three main points in our presentation, we're going to be covering the history, as well as the financial conditions going to the last point, which is going to be looking to the future of the company. Hopefully, you're going to have a wider background about Microsoft in general. Starting off for the history of the company, the founders of the company is uh, Paul Ammon and Bill Gates. Uh, they, all, they started in 1975, where they had a small shop called Trap Odata, and they sold their first computer, which counted the city of, uh, counted the city and to traffic of the city of Seattle. After selling their first computer, they thought of a way to, they thought of a way of having a contract with uh, the MITS company. They found a basic information device for them, and from getting their contract, they get, gained a bit of a foundation. After gaining a bit of a uh, fortune from uh, the company, they established a new company, which was called Microsoft. And some of their influential products is uh, the DOS as the disk operating system. And this, uh, disk, they bought the rights of the disk operating system so that they can, they can manage with the IBM to sell them as, as a product. With it. And these two, pro uh, these two products, as well as the Microsoft Windows, which is uh, a graphic interface device, so these are one of the two influential products for the Microsoft. And going for the second point is about the current financial conditions my partner is going to This is a 52-week stock chart. Um, as you can see, uh, the stock is steadily in decline from 31.25 to around 27.50. Uh, this is uh, where our main sources of revenue come from. Uh, as you can see, business division. Uh, it's responsible for 33% of total income. This is uh, operating income for the various divisions that we have. Uh, Windows and Windows Live uh, accounts for uh, around 25% of our uh, income. And they are responsible for Windows operating systems. Server and Tools is uh, responsible for uh, software such as uh, Microsoft Exchange. Online services include uh, Search Engine Bing and our ad services. Uh, business division is responsible for Microsoft Office and other Office related products. And uh, Entertainment and Devices is responsible for our Xbox line of products and our other gaming products and uh, Windows Phone. Uh, as you can see, uh, online services has run up around like an eight billion dollar deficit. This is due to a six billion dollar investment in a company called Aquantive, who uh, they were supposed to do our ads for us to compete with Google, uh, but uh, this caused our first quarterly loss ever in the history of as a company. But we still managed to make two dollars per share for the fiscal year 2012. And new products we have: Windows 8 and Microsoft Office 2013 have just come out and are vast improvements uh, to previous versions. Uh, Xbox 720 is also expected next year around uh, fall. We bought out Skype to replace our Windows messaging service to improve it. And Bing has increased its market share to around 16%. And is uh, steadily increasing its ad Now I'll hand it back to my partner. This uh, concludes for our presentation. Hopefully we have covered three, the three main points which is about the history of the company, the financial conditions, as well as the future plans of the company. As you all know, the history for the founders, which is Bill Gates and Paul Hammond, as well as for this talk information, 
as well as the future plans of the company and having the, <coughs> the new windows as well as uh, buying out Skype. So hopefully you have, you have a wider background about uh, Microsoft in general. If you have any further questions, we're going to be glad to answer and thank you for listening.